Okay, so right here we have. You cannot really eat that. Wait, really? Around the world, animal feet are a hot topic. <laughs> In Vietnam, if you eat one foot, you have to eat a second to make it even. Here's the second one. I didn't even. That's bad luck. In Madagascar, if you eat the feet, you have to throw away the head. You can't have both. And in some countries, they just say no altogether. I like that. Well, today, we're saying yes. Just do it. Come on a mission to seek out and document the most extreme feet in Asia, starting with these. Oh my gosh. A rare, very expensive breed of chicken prized for its abnormal, oh. thick, lumpy feet. It looks like a disease. <laughs> oh this, one, this one knows something's going wrong. We're taking on this unique delicacy in all shapes, sizes, and uh, species, too. Our first stop, a hidden farm just a two-hour drive from Saigon. Sir. Joining me on this unusual excursion today, to win. You may have seen her a few times before. Wow, okay, okay. Mm, what's in there? Hold on. Thank you so much for having us here at your beautiful farm. I'm shocked, I'm amazed, and I'm very curious what is going on here. And I kind of want to ask a question, but I don't want to be rude, but is this farm next to like a nuclear power plant? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Vietnam has a chicken fetish. These are just a few breeds out of the over 50 that are farmed and raised throughout the country for various purposes. Cockfighting. Some chickens are kept as pets, but most will become food. I've had chicken and chicken feet a million times before, but the chicken I'm trying out today is a bit unusual. He's going in to actually catch one right now. Oh, oh that's a good God. one. It looks like a disease. I mean, look Ew. here. It looks like 10 fingernails. Yeah, oh my God. I don't think I'm touching a feet. When I go to a spa and get a pedicure, that's exactly the reaction I get. They see my feet and they're like, oh God, what have you done? Where do these chickens come from? Cái này thì nó đi đến từ phía Bắc của Việt Nam. Tên của nó thì là trùng với nơi nó sinh ra là Đông Tảo. I'd like to tell you that years of skilled selective breeding created what you see here. But in reality, no one knows why this chicken exists. Back in the days of kings and queens, it was banned for consumption, reserved only for the king himself. These days, if you save up enough coin, you too can eat like a king. For a normal chicken, I could expect to spend about $10. How much is it for this chicken that you're holding right now? Around $2 million for this one. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yes. So 10 <laughs> times the price. Yes, look at the legs. I mean, where can you get these? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so expensive compared to a normal chicken? To actually breed this kai is really tough because if the feet are getting really, really big, then they cannot breed them. Because they're not attracted to each other anymore. When they have really big feet, then they actually crash the egg. But it's too small, then it's not qualified. Wow, this is gonna be for sure the most expensive chicken I've ever bought. The whole chicken can be prepared and cooked in several traditional styles, but we're just focused on the feet. These stompers are cooked with mugwort leaves and 11 different kinds of traditional Chinese medicine. Oh. Okay, that's pretty huge for like chicken testicle. I'm sorry, what? What's in here? <laughs> this black kind of swollen part is a testicle? Yes, sir, yeah. From a chicken? Yes, I'm surprised. <laughs> and they look so black. Mind you, it's like 10 a.m. right now. Two giant chicken feet. Cheers. Oh, chicken ball whiskey. <laughs> So I would say this is not really fill food, it's chill food. We have the blood cake, a salad made with mango steam. And then right here, boom, the star. But before I eat this, I'm gonna have this blood cake. Should I put on fish sauce? Uh, it's gonna be salty. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that too much? <laughs> yes. Oh, very salty. <laughs> the inside is pure pink. I like it. I like the texture overall. Very moist. Yeah, maybe that's why it's pink inside. I think they cooked it medium rare. Well, enough beating around the bush. Uh... This chicken need a pedicure. WTF? What is going on that's there? That's literally the size of my arms. Yes. See that? Bigger, bigger. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah? Cheers. Cheers. 
Wow. I didn't even reach to the bones just no, yet. No, there's a <laughs> lot of skin. The texture is a bit overwhelming for me because it is like spongy and springy at mm. the same time. Usually you need to chop that up and then everybody like they can take a small bite, you know, and then they come back later. But if you look at the top of the foot, that's where earlier I said it was like 10 toenails. I think we should take a bite of the top of the foot. Gotcha. Oh. It is so rich, it's like a shot of butter. It's a little hard for me to get used to, because it looks shocking. The texture is interesting. I like it the more I try it. And I think we're eating it wrong, obviously. But I can see how, if you cut this up properly, portioned it up, I can see why people would like it. When it comes to chicken feet, Vietnam is one of the biggest consumers in Asia. Wow, there is a whole chicken in there. It's a common snack and the perfect pairing for beer or whiskey. But these aren't the only tasty feet you'll find here. Another favorite, pork trotters. What a place to be eating a foot on the side of the highway. It's very nice. Good ambiance. Oh, and there's a dog. It's very rare that you can eat this kind of food on the street because usually you can find it in bigger Vietnamese restaurants. That's why it's very popular because anybody can enjoy that now. Seasoned with salt and boiled for hours. Then deep fried until they turn gold. Crackling crispy on the outside, steamy and tender on the inside. Oh, it's so simple, but so delicious. Pretty salty, crispy. This dog wants them so bad. <laughs> First look at it, I thought it was gonna be fatty, but when you eat it, I don't think it's that fatty anymore. It's a pretty good balance. What's this? What's going on here? Is this bread? Deep fried bun. How does that go with the pig foot? Just eat it together. I got some bread, I got some foot. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. That's delightful. Yeah. Wow. If you had a fetish for one animal foot, what animal would that be? To be honest, so far, I only have chicken feet. And it's not even here. I had it at a dim sum restaurant in Singapore. Were you scared of feet or you just never had the opportunity? I'm not really a feet person in general, but I'm surprised. I mean, this one is actually delicious. It's really good. Yeah. If you look closely, you can see, uh, actually you can't, but I'm telling you now that these are all front feet. To learn more about this underrated pork part, I'm jumping feet first into our next foot location. A vendor who's selling roasted trotters. Xin Chao, how you doing? Uh, nice to meet you. And we can do a little elbow. Oh, okay, because you've got the glove on. Today, me and my friend here, we're doing a foot tour. Can you guess some of the feet we've had already? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Zoom and his family have already opened four different locations in town in the five years since they first moved to Saigon. Using their own recipe that originated in the far off northwest region of Vietnam, even the ingredients are imported from their homeland. She sprinkled the seasoning inside and stuffed it with this Vietnamese curry leaves, and then now she's gonna she kinda gonna sew it up. make a suture. Wow, she's so good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so she does like a crisscross pattern to kind of seal it shut as much as possible. I mean, I'm not good at sewing. I probably sew my hand back in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this end is like completely sealed in. We want all the juices to stay inside. Oh, she's not done. Yet. Okay, so she's cutting the tendon, yeah, so it doesn't like tighten up and then like curl up. Ah, okay, that's kind of scary when he can do it. That's right. <laughs> How do you judge a good pig leg? So you said it has to be the front feet? Ah, yeah. It's pretty typical that people will just eat the front trotters because they think the back ones are dirty. Really? That's where all the dirty okay. business happens. But you can double check, you can ask him why only the front feet? It has nothing to do with TP or poo poo. No, double check though. I wish. Can you double check? Thank you. No, he was saying about oh. freshness. Oh, two? Yeah, only oh. two. What do you think about my feet on a scale of <laughs> one to ten? <laughs> Here we have the whole foot and ankle portion. That's a lot. We've got pickled fresh herbs, cucumber, gross. It's so juicy and then the skin looks so crispy. All right, I want to try this skin out. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Do that. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> it's very crispy. <laughs> It's different than the last place though. The last place was like thick and crunchy, almost like a cracker. This is more rich and thin and crunchy. All right, and then the leaf. I love that part, my favorite. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be good, but I'm very impressed. I just got a big meaty chunk right here. I'm gonna give it a little dip. Oh, so this is a special sauce from him. Soy sauce, chili sauce, garlic, and ginger. 
bro. <laughs> wow. I love the Vietnamese curry. It adds just a fragrant freshness to it. The skin on the outside of the trotter, it's thin, it's crispy, but then the meat underneath, all the fat has rendered down. The oils have kind of infused into the protein. Exactly. It's all delicious. I'm so excited I wet myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, I got too excited. <laughs> You have a spot here by the street. There's a lot of traffic. I'm sure a lot of people stop by. You just have like this narrow area here. Is this your area? He rented it. Yeah, but this is now belong to him. And then he has a camera here. Did you have a lot of pig feed being lost without knowing why? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The feed frenzy continues. Here we've come way back into the heart of the city. We're standing and eating. I've got a plate of duck feet. Now, the first time I ever encountered a duck foot, I was in Guangzhou, China. I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> now, I noticed they're selling the feet in pairs. So in Vietnam, people think that it's not very good that you only eat like one foot. You need to eat it in pairs. So earlier today, you ate one giant chicken foot. I mean, but that's equal like 10 feet, isn't it? <laughs> that's a good save. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven feet here. What happened? <laughs> This restaurant specializes in all things duck, except the duck body, cooked with 28 different seasonings and hours of braising. Her daughter is actually staying in Singapore, and she invited the chef to come back here, and then she opened the shop, so pretty authentic. Sing Singaporean food. Yeah, I mean... Authentic. <laughs> Why'd you agree to do this show? I think you've got to eat one of those. Oh, yeah. the wedding. I didn't taste like anything. It's interesting. It is like a thin membrane. Why do you think that it's so little meat, but people still eat it? When people like drinking full, like, you don't really want to eat that much, but you just want that kick, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, everything we've had today, you're supposed to have with alcohol. True, true. It's simple. It's not a lot of food, but it's a good little snack. It's going to light up a spark in your mouth, and you're going to want to fizzle that out with a nice cold beer. Right. Our last stop, an encore for the lovers of feet. An unusual item, even here in Vietnam. Cow feet. You may know them as cow hooves. But how did this bovine buffet come to be? Handshake, boom. Thank you so much for having us at your restaurant tonight. Um, first of all, you have a menu on the wall here the size of a movie screen. You offer so many foods. How are you able to have such a huge menu and still keep everything fresh and in stock? So basically, it's a family secret coming from her mom. They actually don't have a chef. She prepared everything and then Whoa. the staff only like reassembled them. Her mother started this business 40 years ago, selling beef intestine hot pot. 20 years ago, Miss Nga took over the restaurant and expanded into the two houses next door. What time do you finish cooking usually? From midnight to 3 a.m. Wow. Yeah, she had a reverse schedule. Ah. People usually go to bed at night and she works. And then when people go to work, she sleeps. Her unique recipes are inclusive of all types of animals, but she takes special pride in her beef. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or shall I say the cow feet on the big platter in front of us. Oh, here they are. So here we have the cow legs. The hoof part is made of keratin. That's the same material as horns, same material as your fingernail. But after they roast it or get it hot, they can actually pop this off. Yes. And then underneath, you'll see this section. So then what do they do with this part under the hoof? You can stir fry that. It's got to be softer. How did you come up with this recipe? I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Marinated feed parts get stir fried with butter and liver pate. She thinks that her secret to keep customer going here is always renovate her menu. So this part is like come up when she was trying to think of a new idea. And she actually tried this herself weeks and weeks. If she gets more of her old food, ah. then it, it won't be on the menu. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Look at all this food. Oh, if you look in the background, you can see our cook. She's on the phone. Very busy woman. I didn't believe her at first when she's like, I cook all this food. I don't teach anyone how to cook it. Yes. And I was like, that's... Uh, wait, really? <laughs> so then we ordered this, and she's like, yeah, hold on, I got six dishes to cook. <laughs> so I think when we did the interview, the whole restaurant just paused. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Here, I don't understand. Check it out. How do you eat that? Well... You just gnaw oh on God, it? I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go for it. It's hot, though. Mmm. 
creamy, buttery. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. almost like cartilage or tendon. And it's just a little bit that's on there. And then the rest is like hard bone. Good luck getting through that. This is good drinking food. Would you have ever even guessed that you could eat this? No, not really. When it comes to feel, like you thought it's more like, you know, the part that's up, not like all the way to the end. Because this is literally, they walk on those. All right, we're basically eating like the toenails. Uh. Crazy. It's very firm. It's kind of fun to chew through because it's very dense. I like it. Oh, so they gave us some bread too. Yeah. I think you just dip the bread in the sauce if you want. I think of the sauce that makes it very, very good. Mm. Oh, that's a great mix. Yeah, then when you just get the sauce itself, it's just so rich, buttery, with a hint of livery pate. Let's do a cheers. We did a good job today. Oh, is that just straight vodka on ice? Cool. endlessly impressed by Vietnamese people's ability to turn offcuts and foods uncommon in the West into highly elevated and delicious works of art. When you come here, they'll bring the flavor. The only thing you need to bring to the table is an open mind and an open mouth. I mean, as a Vietnamese, it's, it's pretty funny because even I've been in Saigon for like eight years, mm. I've never heard of these, and maybe I should get on the internet more often. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're from the Mekong Delta originally, is that right? <laughs> no. All right, cool, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> Review show is saying goodbye to all of our original best ever merch designs. But for the next 30 days, all of our previous designs will be available one last time. So besties, it's your last chance to snatch your favorite limited edition merch, all available in a variety of colors and styles. Link in bio to get yours. And be sure to check out our second channel, more Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. A piece. peace. <laughs> I'll give that like a five out of 10. Peace.